High Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching as well. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. Today we're going to take a look at urgent messages your spirit guides are trying to tell you. So what is it that they're trying to communicate to you? What is it that, have, that they've been trying to say to you, but maybe you've been um, ignoring it, or you've not been, you know, receptive or open to these messages? Um... Because this is a general reading, these are going to be general messages, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what spirit here, what your spirit guides are trying to guide you towards, okay? Okay, so right off the bat, you have the Ten of Cups and the Chariot here. Nine of Pentacles as well, and the Five of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Five and six, you've got two consecutive numbers here. There is something very significant around those dates here that are going to happen for you here. Okay, the Star, the Nine of Wands, and the Fool here as well. Okay, you've got a few. You've got a few uh, major arcana cards here. Okay, first and foremost, spirit wants you to know that for those of you that have been going through a storm of some sort, okay, the storm, the dark clouds are going to lift. The dark, looming, ominous, threatening clouds that have gathered above your head are lifting, and you are finally going to get your rainbow at the end of the storm. A lot of you are starting to really line yourself up with certain. Like with certain passions, dreams, goals, ambitions, people, places, and things. You'll notice that within the next couple of weeks or within the next couple of months from this reading that there are certain, um, there are, you're going to be attracting certain people, situation, and things into your life. Spirit wants you to know that what's happening for you is you're in a case of, you know, you're, it's, it's, it's a case of you're in the right place at the right time purely because you have aligned yourself with those people and those circumstances. So Spirit wants you to know that things are finally coming together here and that you deserve it. For a lot of you, you know, the Ten of Cups energy is the happily ever after. Spirit wants you to know that there was a beginning, there was an, a, a middle and there's finally going to be an end to this story, to this chapter and it's a very happy one at that. So Spirit wants you to get excited for all the good things that are coming into your life, for all the great blessings that you are inviting into your life, and for all the wonderful things you are aligning yourself up for. Spirit also wants you to, it wants to give you the green light regarding a certain situation or a person here. Some of you, you have been unsure of whether you should make a move or what your next move should be. Spirit wants you to take action. Standing still will stunt the growth of something here. The relationship, the connection, career prospects, career goals. If you stand still, Spirit wants you to know you won't get anywhere. So Spirit wants you to take action. It's okay to be unsure. It's okay to not know what your next step might be. So as long as you keep moving, so as long as you keep, at, um, you keep acting here, Spirit is going to be there with you every way of the journey, every step of the journey. Spirit is going to guide you here to where you should go. So it's okay if you feel like you don't know where you're going. Spirit does and it will take you there. Okay, Spirit also wants you to start investing in yourself a little bit. Okay, start showing a little bit more self-care, self-love. Some of you have, I don't know why, okay, and Spirit wants is a little bit, Spirit wants to know why you have give like, You've given the key to your happiness and you've placed it in someone else's hands, someone else's pockets. Spirit is asking you why. Okay? Start prioritizing you. Spirit wants you to start putting yourself first. Some of you are in a relationship, but you forget that you are very much a part of the relationship. Your needs, your expectations, your wants in this relationship, they matter. And Spirit wants you wants to remind you of that, okay? So start putting yourself first. Um, start thinking about, your start, um, about yourself. Um, some of you are not in a relationship yet because Spirit wants you to build a better relationship with yourself. The biggest relationship 
Um, and the greatest relationship you'll ever have is the one with yourself. And some of you need to have a better relationship here with yourself. Start spending some more time on your own. Start indulging in some of the things that give you a happiness. It's okay if these things don't matter to anyone else. If they matter to you, then they matter most of all here. So Spirit wants you to start doing you guys. Putting yourself first. Um, what gives you great joy? What gives you great pleasure here? Okay. Um, start doing those here. Five of Cups, some of you are living in the past, okay? And there's a reason why you're stagnated or there's a reason why that relationship is not going where it needs to go or, you know, you haven't progressed in your career or you're, you've are you been so stuck in your life is because you keep, living in, you keep living in the past. You keep revisiting past memories and some of you have unpacked your bags there and are staying there. Spirit wants you to move on here, okay? Take action, move on because some of you... You're living in the past. You need to let, let go. There's a reason why we call it the past because it no longer is, okay? It's happened. And some of you, you need to accept that, okay, some things haven't necessarily gone your way. There is some regret. There's some past mistakes. You know, there was the one that got away. There was the one that you could have had or maybe you were the one that got away here. It's happened here, okay? It's happened. You cannot go back and you cannot, there's not a do-over. You cannot relive the past here. You know, You can't go back and, you know, um, you know, redo things here. Spirit wants you to move on here. Accept the hurt, accept the pain, accept the lesson that it taught you here. Um, also, Spirit wants you to know that it's okay to look to the past. It's okay to look to the past because, um, funnily enough, the past sometimes it holds the key to your future. And some of you, that's why Spirit wants you to know that if you feel like, okay, why can't I move on from the past or why do I keep going back to the past? Because Spirit wants you. Spirit wants you to know that the reason why you keep going to the past here is because some of you, the past, your past here holds the key to your future here. Your future love, your future romance, your future relationships, your future career, your future goals here, your future predictions see The past holds the key, okay? Um, Spirit also wants you to bring a certain balance into your life. So some of you, you need to reconnect with your core, reconnect with your center. Some of you have been a little bit imbalanced here. Some of you have been giving too much of yourself away and, you know, the scales have tipped here and not necessarily in your favor. Some of you are giving too much without taking anything in return or without expecting anything in return. Some of you are self-sacrificing yourself and you're compromising too much of yourself and your energy for something or someone. And I don't feel like there's anything coming back in return. There's no... There's no payoff. There's no reward. Like there's no big payoff here. And some of you, you need to see that your efforts towards something or someone are going unnoticed. So you need to go back and you need to restore a sense of equilibrium. That balance, that equilibrium, first and foremost, starts with yourself because something here is a little off center, is a little off balance, guys. So some meditation here. Okay, some meditation really will help with connecting to yourself and rebalancing your energies here. Any self. Um, relaxation techniques also will help you do that spending some time on your own here um sort of collecting your thoughts and gathering your thoughts and emotions here also some of you i feel like you i get a sense that for those of you that have been taking too much okay you need to start giving back here because there's a balance in life there's a balance of give and take Okay, and we need it's an it's a natural order of things. So some of you, you've been doing a little bit too much of taking, and you need to start giving a start giving a little in return here, guys. Um, the star card here. Some of you, I feel like there's a lot of blessings here that are coming your way, and spirit wants you to know that there's a lot of changes, wonderful changes coming. Some of you need to take the time to heal yourself. Is another thing that spirit is telling you that. The reason why, again, as to why you feel stuck or stagnated is because some healing needs to take place. And Spirit wants you to know that it doesn't matter. You could have the most, you know, compatible, um, the most potential relationship fall into your lap. But you won't be able to enjoy that relationship. You won't be able to have that relationship purely because there is some unhealed wounds inside of you. And those wounds still fester and prevent any relationships from growing here. So spirit wants you to know you need to do some healing before you can move on to the next thing or you know the next relationship here. Spirit wants you to um take uh put yourself here, prioritize your health, your happiness as well. Um spirit also wants you to know for some of you when you wish upon a star, wishes do come true. 
So don't give hope, don't give up hope. Some of you, you feel as though that storm that you've been going through, you know, it's it, it's gotten a bit too dark here, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And the stars here, they, they, they do light up your skies here. So some of you, spirit wants you to know that do not give up hope. As hopeless and as gloomy as things may seem, they're not here to stay, okay? And it's easy to keep the faith when things are you know going all well okay that's easy it's so easy to keep the faith when you've got you know everything going your way when everything is just you know peaches and cream and everything's just swell what's not easy is keeping the faith when you're in the middle of a storm okay when you're enduring this um tumultuous storm that's not easy and if you can keep the faith whilst you're in the storm your faith is going to pay off it will be rewarded here guys nine of wands spirit wants you to draw up some boundaries between you and some people because they're doing too much taking okay or you're giving or you're giving them too much so you need to learn to draw up some boundaries learn to, to say no um for others of you spirit wants you to bring down your bring down your guard here you need to trust people even if you don't always believe what they say you need to start learning to trust people here because a lot of the time the reason why you can't trust someone or you feel like you can't trust them, it's not with them, it lies with you. So Spirit wants you to start trusting your own self and your own beliefs here and your own energies. And with the Fool card, Spirit wants you to let go here, surrender. The Fool is someone who is, you know, who is in complete surrender to the universe. Let go, trust the process, trust yourself. You might not see where you're going, you might not even know where you're going to, but it's important for you to trust that your spirit guides, your angel guides will get you there, okay? And they will be with you on every step of the journey. Now, there's a myth, for those of you that aren't familiar, there's a myth regarding the fool here. Um, and that you know, see how he's about to walk off the edge of the precipice? Now, a lot of people say that because of his, his trust, his ultimate, you know, he, the fact that he surrenders himself ultimately to the universe and he trusts himself and he trusts in the universe, the cliff he tends to regenerate um, just below his feet. So he never truly takes the fall. So you need to trust that where you're going, even if you, you know, you don't see your next step. You need to start believing here in your faith. It will be rewarded. All right, guys. And these are your messages from your spirit guides. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again so much. Bye for now.